G'day YouTubers, how you going? My name's Neil Wilfred007. Welcome to Wilfred's PC World at Lake Snow Cottage in Luxport. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Anyway, anyway, just a quick start up for today is, um, I've reached, in this one, I've reached 99th level. I'll do another video, well, a massive video I've got to do for 100th level. I'll just probably do all the kills. Um, but anyway, I'm playing support to begin with and I'm also playing Recon. Now, always when you come into here, look at this, look at mini map, but also have a quick look in here at the corridors, because they always run up here to start with. If they can get a foothold in the corridors, they can do a lot of damage. I always bring the bigger map up, because I find that easy to look at than the smaller one. Blow the crap out of this wall, and also lay down a claymore here. Sometimes you have to lay two claymores in a row because one might not kill them. Blow the crap out of that wall, throw a med pack down, and ready to lay another claim on. Now I am recording, I did record this in my triple monitor setup, with a resolution of 58, um, yeah, 58, 96 by 1080, but I'm putting it onto, I'm using the Adobe, I got you! That was four straws, interesting name. Throw a grenade down there, see if he would come and heal him. Throw another one. Oh, a kill assist. Yay! Um, and... This, oh, I always, always can, another hit, got this, and another kill assist, I think. Oh, kill another one. Uh, S10, no, S2 me something. Strange name, that one. But, um... As I said before, I'll turn this volume down a bit so I can hear myself talk. That's a bit better. I want to have it in the background, I don't want to overpower it or anything like that. But I always change sides, um, constantly looking at mini map. Um, I know pretty much the stairway, the corridors at the moment pretty good. Now I'll have a look at the pool, the belly, have a look at the person down there. Couldn't seem to get... Ah, got him. 4 hay bok 2. Okay. Ooh, that was the same. 4 straws. Got me... Oh yeah, using that one. Now, he got me a couple of times I think on this one. Put that, put an oil lay down on a claim wall. Cause I think I don't like what dice is done here. Because when you die, your claim walls go. Now, I can understand C4. Actually, no, C4 shouldn't be going either. Um, claim walls, you know, when you lay down your mines and you die, they stay there. And you'll lay more more mines down, I think you have six or. I think six or eight mines, I'm not quite sure. Um, I've got to really have a look at that. But. You can lay down mines, die, lay down more mines somewhere else on the map and still have those other mines there, as long as you don't go over your maximum amount of, uh, amount of mines. And you're only allowed to have two claymores. Now, to me, I think dice should be able to fix this pack, fix this patch up, uh, or patch it up in such ways where if you die, the claymores will stay there unless deactivated. Or like, less destroyed somehow. You know what I mean? That is what I think should happen. Like your med packs stay there, your um, ammo stays there. Like, if you're smart, you've got a nice little spot you can get to. You go there as a, um, you go there as a, so like, a support drop some ammo pack down for yourself. Go there, um, go around, have some, yeah, kill assist again. Oh! I like those kill assists. They claim, it claim alls. Don't know why he puts that there. Now, that is not the best spot to put, uh, a beacon. You want it near the B flag. Okay, because you only got 30 meter, 30 meter ra radius where that beacon, where that, um, from that one there. Cause it's a bit worse spot to put it. I would actually put it, um, just on the other side of it. Ah, you got me here again. I couldn't seem to get a lock on it. Just bouncing around else. Oh, run away. I know he's there. Four straws again. It's just like on that one spot, I could not seem to get a lock on it. Oh, 
I was telling somebody there, um, I had one level to go, and they got one boost for what? I go for a hundredth level. Yeah, damn. <laughs> now I came back here, and it's my sniper. Now, using the, um, what was it? I'll find him. Cut him! Got four straws! Oh, that's the SV-98. Now, the reason why I'm using the SV-98, put that down, your uh, beacon down, or your radio down. Always put your radio down. I've got 35 metres with that, um, the map, so that will give me 35 metres. So you can see on the minimap how far it covers. Um, I think he got me, he got me again here, he gets me twice. But, um, now, the reason why I use the ACOG scope, as you saw before, he, he stood out like a dog's balls with his scope, right? So he was using a Type 6 or higher. I knew there was some people coming up there, I can't do much about that. Try to shoot, yep, got a suppression there. There's not much you can do about that, I haven't got laser sights or nothing, so I prefer the silencer. Um, does less damage, but I'm going. I'm trying to hit and go for more for aim shots, uh, headshots, and stuff like that. Um, <coughs> and I use the pullback because honestly, you need that because just to just to fire it and then and then to um, look away and fire it again makes it hard. And when you're finding the ACOG scope, you don't get that wobble like you do with the picket scopes. You don't need a tripod with it. Um, and this is before I like to stay off the radar. Um, always wear black. I use whatever I can for the thing. Ah, this is one. Here we go. Nope, he's dead. Run away. Looking at, I'm constantly looking at my mini map as well. Seeing what's available, what, what can I take out. <coughs> Here we go. I'm um, keep overdoing it sometimes. I think the firing a bit too late, firing a bit too early. But can't complain. Just a matter of keeping your eye on everything and making sure everything works. Now, oh, here he is again. Oh, he got me. I didn't. I didn't see him. I was looking for that was that was him down there. He hits me twice here. Yeah, I have to admit, he's a pretty good shot. Took two kills to get him. Uh, Bill, Bill or Bill, Bill dog, Bill dog. Yeah, he, I know he's there somewhere. I think somebody else got him. Yeah, I have to bring me mini map back up. I haven't, fought, I haven't done that yet, but you can see the difference, how small it is. Now, when you're using the triple monitor, and this is something other people don't, got you, uh, King, <laughs> King something, C-U-M, something like, ah, oh, here he is, he gets me here again. It's very hard trying to get that right spot, and how he's lying, you look how he's lying. This one's not too bad, but it's very hard trying to get that get that thing. See, he's using a Type Six scope, so I could see him quite clearly. I'm surprised how you actually see me from down there. Bring that back up. I know he's there. There he is. Got him. I have to run away because it's bloody. I'm down eight hit points, so I run away. Something done ninety two hit points worth of damage to me. Give me a hand grenade or something like that. Yeah, I'm just having a go at him and take that white light. Because in a sense, anybody who's using um, anything higher on a sniper rifle um, in this map needs to get their head red. Okay? If you're using um, anything higher than an ACOG times 4 scope, unless you're right at the back and you want to snipe at somebody left, right, and center, right from the back or from your own base. When there's no point trying to hide, that yes, I'll agree with them. But when you're in the battle like this, people know where you are. They're looking at the mini map. You want to be off the mini map. You don't want to be on the mini map. You don't. 
Yeah, fair enough. I can get, you, get, get you going and put a heavy barrel on it. Alright, put get a sniper. Get your times 12 scope onto it. Okay, um, it's stupid. Yeah, you might get kills and that, and you might be okay with it, but everybody, it gets me again here. Trying to get that one key spot. <sighs> See, it is annoying me. He's using uh, the M9 9B. Now, the reason why I'm using this one is because I want to get the five stars for it. I know exactly where he is, but trying to get in that spot. Up, he's gone, I think. Trying to get into that one spot is bloody hard to do. But you can get there, I know. I see him. So now I know there's another way of doing it. I'm going to check the hallway. Okay, I'm running back. I think I'm in I'm I'm belly in this one. I'm trying to find him. I guess it's not that you can sit down there and quite comfortably and take people out. I know he's there. got me again. It's just the angle I think, just a slight angle. But anyway, um, oh, no, no, no. so I prefer to start with Nima. It just makes my, my life, makes the way I like to play it better. So I know, so I can tell by looking at the mini-map where people are, um, if you've got right enough amount of people, they'll be able to see your spot. It gives me another time here, which is annoying. I'm trying to find the right spot. I'm trying to get that angle. It's just... I'm firing into there. I shouldn't be missing him. Right. Um, I should not be missing him at all. Which is annoying me. Right, thank him again. Always thank people. Um, if you're support, do your job. Support people. Um... If you're a sniper, put your um, the meds down the, in the best locations. Now, yeah. sometimes I've had this, I just drove it around with a mev. <sighs> Trying to get this bloke, it's almost impossible. I got him. No. He gets me again. I'm like. Hmm. Okay. That does not seem to work. Let's go up try something else. So I sneak up down the stairs. He's not watching this area. Duck in, duck out. He, he tried to run away there. Catch you, four straws. Take that, you shiny white light. That's except for if you've got a, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the people on this team are um, a bit silly. You've got one bloke with a hand grenade. I've got my usual, which is always ammo. And you can tell the people with ammo, you don't need um, more than one person with ammo because you can't get any extra more, any extra ammo if you have more than one. Kind of annoying because we, I would have preferred having um, speed, um, cover. So if we're going to come up in squad formation, please. Now uh, there he is. Mr. There he is. I know exactly where he is. So I don't have to be in his line of fire. He gets me again. I don't say. How many times? Times that person get me. It's just like he's my nemesis. Oh, here we go. I know exactly where he oh, was. There, he's gone walk about now. I know where he is. Got you four straws. Take that. Wait for somebody to come along to heal him. And yes, they do. Get him again. Now that's how you play a sniper full straws. I was hoping you'd heal him again. But he didn't. No way. So I got four straws twice there. But getting him from this angle, I'm surprised I couldn't get him. I couldn't get the angle right. 
I don't know, it must have, it might be something to do upstairs, it might have to get lower down, I don't know. But we'll give it a go anyway. Yeah. Now, I've talked about a lot of the things, we've lost one person off here, which is annoying. Um, we talked about hacks, we talked about admins, now I'm going to talk about the weapons in there. Um, and it's went on twos. Okay, now, as you know, I go use a sniper rifle, uh, use all my weapons with silencers. I know you can get better results, you can get more damage done, like fair enough, okay, if I go up against a normal, normal, um, person with a heavy barrel, I'm going to get my ass handed to him. So I've got to play, play it differently, I can't just go rushing head the barrel, like, head, go head first, right? Um, so I'm going to play it different, I've got to play it smarter, I've got to think more, I've got to be more on the ball as I'm playing, right? Yes, I get less, um, I get less kills than somebody else who's a psycho and all that. I get, um, No, he's uh, he died. I was surprised that never that never, any of my bullets actually hit him now. So, oh, I get that sometimes. It's like you're firing at somebody, and you think your bullets you, your bullets are hitting him, but then you know they're hitting him. They're actually you can see the bullets, see the person there in the scope, but they're not hitting him for some strange reason. I don't know, just me. But, as I said before, if you, this is the area you want to go down to attack from, if you want to go downstairs, you want to attack this way. You want to hold the, the other back, you want to hold the other escalators plus the stairs. If you can hold those and keep people out of the corridors, make sure they don't come up there, and slowly push them back down there so they can't, they're not a threat, too much of a threat. And then you concentrate on this as well. We can get to the beginning of the game, get down here and hold this area while other players are taking B and hold B right, and the corridors and then you have won the game and you can also push them back to their base. I've done it many a times and we've come down here, I play the support bloke and I just literally play more of the crap out of the back tent down here and make sure no one else tried to get up. Uh -huh. Here he is there. I don't know where he went to, he disappeared. So I'll throw a grenade down there and have a look. Try and kneecap you. And um, where well, I've just sat there and I've gone, okay, we have to rush. Some person tried to be sneaky and hid down the back there and came up behind. And I was like, oh, hello, took him out. He ran into my claymore a couple of times. Now, I actually got to 100 level. Now, this is a bit of a funny thing. One of the games I've played, which I didn't, it somehow didn't work on me, I don't know if it did or didn't work on my videos, I know some of them didn't actually record. Um, when I got to 100th level, here he comes. Um, I'm trying to get my pistol out then. Ah, damn it. Oh, I've got the wrong thing out there. Put that down there. Um, and um, I was playing and. Uh, I laid a claymore down there and this hundred level character it's like he just kept like running into it, running into it, running into it. And I'm like, hold on, you're hundred level, wouldn't you know by now that like fair enough, okay, I ran into one before because I was trying to get upstairs. I actually did get upstairs in a couple of games. Teammates didn't listen, didn't want to help or didn't want to spawn on me. I got upstairs, I've gone into that little room there and I've put my little beacon down and I've gone that, then I've just tried to run around and knife a couple of people and at the back I'm like, I'm at, I'm at the cat and I'm saying, look, spawn on me, I'm at the bloody, I'm at A, I need some help, right, if we can get A. The trick is with this game, if, okay, when you're coming downstairs, if you cannot get B forcefully, right, but you can somehow get past this back section, I've got a suppression kill assist there, which is weird. I've got a sniper rifle getting a suppression kill. Hmm. Anyway, if you, uh, smoke, throw a grenade. Pistol. Always make sure you have your secondary on when it comes to situations like that, because just 
maybe get one or two shots off if you, you might get one shot off of your sniper rifle that's about all you're going to get um, with pistol it's quicker and they throw smoke you throw grenades makes sense you can you can back off and throw grenades or you can just stand there and throw grenades and they're going to they're going to eat grenades and they're going to eat nades as, as they're going to try to come up but if they can get up past you get one or two in, one into a it's finished ah, and I hit you've got it 99th level do 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 ba 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 and we have hit the 99th level dong dong I'm a colonel I'm almost there and I didn't use a shit bucket and the next couple, next video I'll do, it's going to be quite long, but I'll just edit, I'll do mostly edits on it, and try to get on the kill shots and stuff like that, because some of them didn't work quite well. But that's just before, if you can get into A, by all means, get into A, and it's a double weekend, a double bonus week, which is fantastic, because that just increases your um, thing. If you play a medic and you do it right, and heal people and use the defibrillators, you could literally jump 10 levels in a day. Okay? Well, anyway, you all have fun, and um, I'll see you in uh, the next video.